Hello, I'm Mike Russell from MusicRadioCreative.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Audacity to record a song. If you're creating an online radio show, podcast, radio imaging, or simply want to make your voice sound different, you must get hold of my Audacity presets. Head over to mrc.fm forward slash presets. Go and get them now at mrc.fm forward slash presets. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. It sound right, boy. Okay, I've got a song recorded. It's actually a short jingle that we use on our weekly live stream. Uh, let's solo this track and play a little bit of it. Free Jingle Friday. And take it off solo. And there's the music in the background. So as you can see, I'm using two tracks, one track for the music and one track for the vocals. The music is way too loud. So straight away, I'm going to switch on the envelope tool here and I'm just going to use it to turn down the music a little bit. Let's try again. And I'm, I'm still finding that it's a bit too loud. I can actually use that envelope tool to sort of move down just the audio there where the vocals come in. And I'm feeling like that's a much better mix. On to the next step, and this is where I want to really EQ the vocals, make them pop out, add a bit of reverb, maybe some echo, uh, to sort of master the final production and make it into the song, the finished jingle that I'm going to have at the end. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll go back to my selection tool. I'm going to select everything here, copy it, Command or Control C, and then we'll go to Tracks, Add New, Stereo Track, Paste. There we go. Now I'm going to mute out this original vocal, and then if I mess everything up on this vocal, I can always go back and bring in what I started with. So over here, selecting everything, first of all, I'll go in, I'll use the compressor on these default settings here to just compress the vocals a bit. Let's listen. Sounding pretty good. Then I can go in and I can use something like a filter curve EQ, and I've got a nice default setting there. Let's listen to that. Maybe a bit too much on the high end there. Let's bring that down and bring up a few vocals around here. Let's play it back. Free Jingle Friday. Click OK. Let's listen to what we got now. Free Jingle Friday. Oh yeah. So music radio creators.com. And then obviously we've got some echo on this a cappella track already, but I want to add some reverb in as well, so I can go ahead and do that. Let's go into solo mode so we hear just the vocals, and we'll go into effect reverb, and we'll go into manage and we'll look for some presets, and we might go for a vocal two reverb, stereo width massive, we'll keep the dry gain up, and we'll make the wet gain go up a bit more as well. Lots of reverb and a big room, and let's see what we got here. That's a good amount of reverb. Let's apply that, bring it back into the mix now by taking this one off solo and muting out the original. And we've got this. Sounding good. And if we want to get creative, we can go in and add a creative effect. One of my favorites to use is the phaser and we can play this back. Let's have a little listen to this. And we can just play with some of the phaser effects to make this sound really spooky. Let's play it back. So you might find that a little bit too much. That's a personal preference if you want to use something like that. But just a few tips to get everything sounding great. When we got the final song mix correct, we can then go to File, Export, send it out as an MP3, a WAV file, even open source OGG file, and upload it to wherever we need. But those are some basics on song mixing in Audacity. Anything I missed, anything you'd like to know more about, let me know in the comments down below. And remember to subscribe for more videos just like this one. Check out my Audacity Ultimate course for beginners. If you are a podcaster, YouTuber, voiceover artist, or audio editor, you need this course. Head over to mrc.fm slash audacity. That is mrc.fm slash audacity. Thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Music radio creative.com.